If you're an assault rifle player and want to improve your impact and effectiveness on the map, stick around because I'm giving you three key tips on improving as an AR player. You know what to do, so let's hop right in. Known as a guardian angel and the anchor, there is a reason assault rifle players are typically tasked with the leadership role on a team, and it's because of their effectiveness at range, thus granting them a better view of the bigger picture. Be it cutting off lanes to an enemy, relaying information, or directing traffic appropriately based on their purview, a good AR can be summed up in their main roles, with the first being the guardian angel. Guardian angels are not only protective, but they have wings. How does that have anything to do with your role? Well, it has everything to do with your role because a main AR needs to know and utilize power positions on the map, oftentimes at a higher elevation, allowing you a wide view of the map. Although you aren't always in the thick of the action, you've heard me say time and time again to push out beyond an objective in order to cut off the enemy players. The benefit of running an AR is that you physically do not need to be pushed out. Rather, you can cut off the flow of enemy players from afar. Your primary job is to look over your SMG players by focusing on those long, lines of sight and taking the gunfights that they might not be able to challenge with their close range weapons. All the while, you're feeding your team information and eliminating if not dealing damage on players approaching the objective, making it easier for your SMGs to clean them up. Moving on to the Anchor. This role refers to the player who's pushed back far enough to hold down the preferred spawns for your team, hence the Anchor. The reason the AR is primarily the anchor is because of their ability to both block spawns which are typically removed from an objective while also looking over the objective. An SMG player typically cannot anchor spawns while also being effective because submachine guns are of course not as effective at range. Which brings us to the last role which isn't really a role, it's more of an understanding of when to slow down and when to speed up. Your job is always to see the bigger picture, be it spawns or literally being in a position that provides you a good purview of the map. However, your positioning will change based on the map and hill. On maps like Gavutu, it is far easier for you to hang back and watch for enemies crossing to the objective, but on maps like Tuscan, it's far more situational because a lot of the hardpoints are in close quarters. It's on maps like these that you are most effective in the objective, soaking time and covering one direction, preferably one that has the longest line of sight. At which point the roles are reversed and that your SMGs are now your guardian angels and are looking over you and cutting off players before they reach you on the hill. A great example of this is P5 on Tuscan, which due to its tight space leaves an AR player with less options in regard to effective position. A good position, however, is if you sit on the outer edge of the hill, watching the enemies as they approach from the roof, while your SMGs are pushed out on the stairs, one watching your pinch from radio, and even one on the roofs providing a crossfire for anyone approaching the hill. Furthermore, to the point of pacing and situational positioning, a hill like P3 on Tuscan allows you to sit on the back heady while watching the mid alley, across from vines, the roofs, and even people coming in from top fire. In summation, as an AR player, the deciding factor for your positioning should be predicated on where you are most impactful, be it in the hill or overlooking it. Check out this video covering the essential settings that will help you improve your aim, whether you're an AR or an SMG, but that does it for today's video. I'll see you tomorrow on day 9 of 30 of posting every day. You know what to do. My name is Drew, this was Sablehound. Thank Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I want to be famous.